Hey everybody, welcome back. Movie a review time, where basically we just geek out about a movie we just saw, and once again, we are straight out of the theater. We have not gone to Target yet. We just saw <laughs> Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. <laughs> Woohoo! So, um, this is gonna be our no spoiler video. You don't have to worry about spoilers, it's just a couple minutes of us giving our general overall feelings about the film. Um, if you, I know she hates it because she wants to talk spoilers, so do I. That's why we're just gonna take a couple minutes. But if we say a spoiler, we'll cut it out. You, you don't have to worry about us saying anything you don't want to hear. So, this is just basically our general impressions and uh, if you wanted all spoilers review the link is in the description below or something's popping up right about now click on that and check that out instead okay cool all right at least this movie isn't all spoilers like the last one <laughs> right yeah we can yeah uh, arrival you can't talk about without spoilers practically this we can talk about a lot of things without spoilers but um Overall, I'm going to say I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted it to be more than what I was hoping it would be, and it wasn't. Um, but it was about what I would have hoped it would be. It, it was felt like you're pretty your, much what I expected. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. It's kind of like I wasn't really blown away, but I wasn't underwhelmed or anything. You were whelmed. I was whelmed. But again, you know, I mean, it has like such a pre pedigree that it high pe class pedigree it's coming yeah. from, and I expected it to be of that caliber, and it was. I'd say it's like your your whatever you consider like the average middle Harry Potter film. That's kind of what this was like. Mm -hmm. That's about where I put it in my scale. But again, I mean, it is the first one. They are setting things up and all that. Yeah. Although without going into detail, I will say that is kind of my complaint about this movie. It's two hours and thirteen minutes long, and I feel like it could have been longer because I would have liked to have a little more world building to better understand the American civilization in this world. And and, and she's saying you know go read Potter more and all that, but can I say go read Potter more? <laughs> No, no, you can't. You, you complain I don't talk about these things, and then you talk right over me. <laughs> I like to talk. Um, I, I was telling him uh, if you've gone, if all the Potterheads have probably already gone to Pottermore, read all the things about uh, Oliver Marnie, the the Wizarding School there, and Magicusa, the uh, Magical Congress of the United States um, or the USA. Um, <laughs> And thus have a fairly decent grasp on, you know, how the American wizards handle things. But the thing is, and he's got a good point as well, is that you've got a lot of uh, <clears throat> muggles who uh, go, No matches. <laughs> no matches. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, again, it's a movie. I get it. I love when there's expanded material for movies that can deepen your understanding of things. But the movie itself should tell you everything you need to know. You should be able to walk in there and get everything you want out of the movie itself. I don't feel they did that. I do feel they relied on external yeah. sources explaining things further. And would have helped slightly, I think. So like I said, we accidentally kind of vaguely started to spoil something. So <laughs> um, so in case that was a weird cut, that's why. <laughs> but, so my bad on that one. Yeah, yeah. And I was, she, she started talking about something. And I was like, yeah, that's totally fine. And I was like, oh, wait, no, no. Some people do will consider that a spoiler. Let's drop it. Okay. Um, but anyways, we'll get to that in spoilers. Uh, but uh, performances and everything were fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I think the best character is the Nomad. It is Jacob. Yeah, He's the yeah. one you care about more than anybody else in this movie. Which is not surprising. He, no. He would be considered the viewer stand-in. Yeah, and he does a really good job. He's incredibly charming, and he has a lot to do and a lot of fun stuff. He's not just there to be there. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of the cast, you know, I mean, they're really good, too. Like, Eddie, Ed, uh, Newt, if you will. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's enjoyable. All his monsters, some of them are just insanely adorable. Yeah. Um, we saw it with a theater that's mostly full of young to middle-aged women, and... Um, <laughs> There's there was a, much fangirl squeeing going And lots on. of oohs and aws and, and, and don't get me wrong, I mean, I was doing it too. It's just, it, it's like pretty excessive. Be, be, be aware that's going to happen. Yeah. Um, I am Groot. Hmm? I, I just have, there's one thing that I kept wanting to go, I am Groot. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. And that may be why we need to go to Target and see if we can find something. Because um, I did like it enough that I want to pick up some of the pop figures, so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but you know, pacing was really good. Uh, uh, I'm blanking. How am I blanking on his name? Jo John Williams did not do the score, uh, but I guess he didn't really do them for all the Harry Potters. He just established them. But uh, mm -hmm. it was. Uh, I thought Danny Elfman did the main Harry Potter <laughs> score. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't do the score. But now I'm thinking you might be onto something that he might have collaborated on the theme. Oh, I that's could. What I, I, mean, I could be wrong about that. Mm -hmm. But I know John Williams did the original score uh, completely because I've got mm -hmm. that. Um, but uh, James Newton Howard, he did a fantastic job. I thought that, you know, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, that worked really well. It flies, it doesn't drag. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, I'll take that back there, and we'll talk about it in spoilers. There's one section I felt dragged a bit, but that also maybe I had a couple martinis at dinner and I got comfortable and it was warm, so maybe, you know, this that may be more on me, but we'll talk about I it in spoilers. I think it's more on you. Probably. <laughs> well, it's, it's also one of those, like I was saying, world. I wanted more, more world building, but there's a moment of world building that I feel like goes on too long. 
um, out for the specific element of world building they're building, but I don't know, whatever, mm. nitpick. Uh, but yeah, so everything's pretty good. It's gonna make a lot of money. People are gonna oh, love it. Which one you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> At least I think I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, people are gonna love it. There's some great laughs. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. I never felt terribly invested though in any of the characters other than Jacob in terms of worrying about who is the bad guy, who am I supposed to like, who am I not, who am I feeling for. Mm. I don't feel they. Again, that's where I'm saying the movie to me felt a little bit flat. Is that. I don't know, I just felt like a lot of that stuff, the characterizations needed to be more built up. It's very gray area for everybody through the whole thing for me. Um, you know, I mean, even kind of like the end, which we won't talk about here, but, you know, I'm just kind of like, meh. Yeah, well, it's, for the m most part, it's a lot of the roles are just like, oh, this is this role. And there are, I think there's a couple surprises in there. Oh, yeah. No, there's definitely some surprises, but um, I just, you know, it just, I don't know. I, I, I wanted, I, like I said, it didn't, uh, like, I'm whelmed. It didn't underwhelm me. It didn't overwhelm me. I was, yeah. but, but I went in with lower it's expectations it's thinking it's it would be more it's magical. Okay to be whelmed. Yeah, I guess I just, I, with, I know it's a bad pun, but it's, <laughs> it's the best way to explain it is I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more magical. Like the original Harry Potter movie was magical. Granted, I, you know, I had no interest in that whatsoever. And I was working in a movie theater and I had to go over, check the projector once and it was middle quid Quidditch. And mm -hmm. I'm like, what? Maybe I need to see this. This is pretty cool. And then I loved the movie. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's all adults. The thing is, after eight Harry Potter movies, though, you, you, it kind yeah. of becomes the norm. And yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So you're not exactly seeing the magic for the first time, so to speak. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I can go with that. Um, CG, CG was mostly good. Sometimes, though, the creatures and stuff look really CG. Yeah. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they look really good. Yeah. <laughs> There's some nice uh, <laughs> name drops and references to the Harry Potter series, mm -hmm. which I do know is going to play in more in the future. So. Yep. But, uh, yeah, overall, look, uh, this is one of those movies you've already made up your mind, pretty much. You're either going to go see it or not. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what we thought. Um, and I would say go see it, because mm -hmm. chances are you're really going to enjoy it. Just don't just don't be expecting it to be, like, the greatest. Like, it's not, like, the second coming of the Beatles or something, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's... <laughs> no, if you want that kind of magic, go see Doctor Strange. Or, or Rogue One in the few weeks but uh <laughs> we took one of those survey things and it has like which movie are you most excited for and it's like a massive list of amazing movies but i'm like Shh, rogue one easy she had to like struggle and struggle because <laughs> you know i mean she's excited for rogue one but you know she's there are other movies that maybe are a little bit more her cup of tea but but um yeah i was like come on <laughs> like what other movie am i gonna go see the first three days in a row anyways um yeah so that's our thoughts uh, basic thoughts but we're gonna go on and do the spoiler thing now so Please don't talk spoilers in the comments on this video. If you do want to talk spoilers, jump over to the spoiler video and spoil away there. That'll be mm -hmm. fine. Uh, but let us know if you're excited about it or whatever, you know, or if you just want to say agree or something like that. That's mm -hmm. totally cool. Uh, geek out with us in that regard. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give us that thumbs of encouragement. We do love to be encouraged. And uh, yeah, so I think we're just going to get on out of here and we will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.